Hi and welcome to Gotham City Nights, a channel where we look at all things related to the Batman Miniatures game 3rd edition. My name's Jennifer, known online as Slandra. I'm normally stuck in the editing booth with my friend Chaos, who does the voiceovers. Today I'll be looking at some of the miniatures from the Batman Miniatures game. This particular series looks more at the aesthetics of the models rather than their tactical use, which we cover in our Moment of Glory video series. If the look of these models appeals to you and you'd like to know more about the game, then I'd also direct you to our How to Play series, which takes you through the basics of the game mechanics. Links to these playlists are put in the description below. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to receive notifications when new content goes live. As first thing, I should probably clarify that we are not associated with Night Models. None of these models have been provided to us and all the views are my genuine thoughts on the miniatures. Night Models have recently opened up pre-orders for the new version of their Back to Gotham starter box for 3rd edition. It's a slightly smaller but significantly cheaper starter set than the previous Back to Gotham box. For the first video in this series we thought it would be interesting to see what the models look like and what you get for each faction where Harley Quinn and Deadshot with their henchmen face off against the Dark Knight himself, assisted by the boys and girls in blue of the Gotham Police Department. For part one of this video, we'll look at the good guy miniatures, and part two will bring in a closer look at the bad guys. In future videos, we'll also showcase miniatures which would be good to add into these crews, such as Jim Gordon and the Crown Prince of Crime, the Joker. It should be noted that of all these new starter box as of the date this is recorded is still only available for pre-order but as the miniatures in the new box are the same models as the larger box with two models the aforementioned Commissioner Gordon and the Joker removed from the starter and now available separately but this is how we're able to showcase the painted miniatures before this their site publicly available. All the miniatures shown in this video have been painted by a friend of mine who does commission painted. Um, his Facebook page is called The Left Handed Painter and I'll put a link in the description below. So let's look at the Batman crew all together to see what you get. As you can see there's four Gotham uniformed police including a detective. There's Batman himself and the donut munching Harvey Bullock. This crew comes in at 280 reputation and has a good mix of um, game mechanics present. The lowly cops armed with tasers and nightsticks to um, going all the way up to one of the biggest beat sticks in the game, the character who the game itself is named after. So looking at the miniatures individually, it seems the obvious place to start with is with the bat himself. This particular version of Batman is one of my favourite versions that Knight have produced visually. In my mind I think it's probably only the anniversary edition Batman which I'd put ahead of it on looks. The model comes on a 40mm base. Game mechanic wise this has some advantages and some disadvantages over the larger bases that some of the leader characters are now coming on. Personally for this model, as it's one you'll be wanting to get him into close combat, I think the smaller base is probably better as it's easier to fit it into the tight spaces to get into contact with the bad guys. In Spire ranges aren't as big of a deal for Batman as some of the other um, leaders as he's usually so far ahead of the slower cops and sort of henchmen in his crew that in, in Spire ranges aren't, aren't really such a big thing. Uh, a lot of the crew also has availability to get um, radios, so they'll still benefit from Inspire. The model is positioned on a scenic base of a rocky outcropping, perhaps representing part of the back cave, or him standing outside of Gotham, so like stare, staring into the city. The folds on this cloak are absolutely fantastic for a model on this scale, with the folds positioned to give the imagery of a cloud of bats uh, an image further enhanced by the ears of, on his cowl. Looking behind the cloak's dynamic features, we've also got further details sculpted in, such as the bat symbol on this chest. Talking of his chest, that is almost compulsory with a Batman model, you can see clearly defined musculature in the details of the suit. Focusing in on the cowl, there's some very good de details like sculptured in there with the facial features, um, the way this is, like mouth is visible and underneath the, um, the cowl that goes over his eyes and nose. 
Next up we have Sergeant Harvey Bullock. Now this model is probably one of my favourite in the entire box. Uh, I just think it looks fantastic. The theme of Bullock just hiding out while the fight is going on, munching on a donut, drinking a coffee, or the um, the uniformed cops take the front of the bad guy's attention. Um, it just, just, just amuses me no end. The model comes on one of Night Model's standard 30mm bases with the cobbled effect on the base. The detail again on this model is absolutely fantastic with some very fine details included such as his ears underneath where, where his hat sits, the Gotham police badge um, sitting on his belt. Um, I think Knight's um, done a really great job of capturing Bullock's character with his um, crumpled shirt and his overhanging belly, the non-straight tie and the cigarette hanging from his lips. Following on from Bullock, we have the other detective on the Batman team, the unnamed GCPD detective. From experience in using him in games, he's definitely one of the star performers in the crew. Uh, Knight of the game modelled this on a 30mm standard base. For some reason, whenever I look at this miniature, I always think of Chuck Norris, pro probably due to the Norris-like beard he's sporting and the dynamic pose they've modelled him in. Again, the details on this model are very good. The, um, the GCPD detective wording um, standing out on the, on his back um, that can clearly be read. Um, they've modelled in the little buttons on his shirt and added ni nice thematic touches like the holster on his thigh. Next up, we'll take a look at Officer Merkel. I believe the only one of the uniform cops in this box with an actual name. Merkel again is on a 30mm base. Uh, but this one has some scenic elements on it, um, looking like he's like stepping up from a road onto the pavement, um, stepping over a drain on his way. Um, Merkel, like all of the miniatures so far, is again nicely sculpted with lots of nice attention to detail, specifically around his belt area, which looks to be holding all of the equipment you'd normally expect police officers to be carrying. Merkel again is uh, modelled in a dynamic pose, looking like he's more than ready for action with the way he's holding his right gun, ready to fire off some beanbags at the bad guys. Next up is the unimaginatively entitled Cop 1, another of the unnamed cops in the set. There is, I believe, a reason why a lot of the cops are unnamed. I seem to remember seeing either a resource card or a trait stipulating unnamed as a condition of its use. Off the top of my head though, I can't remember what it was. Um, if you know, please leave a comment below um, just to refresh my memory. This model is one of my favourites of the cops and does come with a choice of head options. Um, I chose to go for the police cap, but there's also an option for like a furry hat. Um, Hopefully if I remember the other head options should show up on the screen somewhere around about now. The model is on a 30mm standard base and again like the majority of the models in this box isn't a static pose with it looking like he's currently working his way through a Gotham alley shining his flashlight to hopefully light up some bad guys. Something represented on his character card with the lantern rule that he has. As modelled wearing a high visibility vest and clutching onto his nightstick and again just the detail actually on the clothes or the the, sort of the crumples in the clothes like showing where the sort of legs are bended where, where you would expect them to be visible. Last but not least is the GCPD COP2, the only female member of this team. Hopefully night in future sets bring out more female models um, especially in the henchman range. Um, Probably one of my main criticisms of like, this box set is that of the 14 models, only two of them are women. One thing they have done right though is that when they have included female characters, they've not been overly sexualised and unlike some miniature ranges, it's not all about skimpy outfits and boobs hanging out all over the place. As with all those cops, she is modelled on a 30mm standard base and is posed in a way that looks to be slowly and methodically working her way down the streets. Again, there's a substantial range of detail on the model and I'd highlight again such areas as the facial features on the model, uh, the detail on their equipment belt, etc. So there we have it folks, that's all of the good guys included in the Batman crew half of the starter box. Part 2 of this video should be available shortly to show off the Harley Quinn side of the box um, with her thugs and dead shots, etc. And as I say, hopefully in the future we'll also be doing a, a full unboxing of the starter box when it actually comes through. 
I hope you enjoyed this short video showcasing some of the Night Models Batman range. If you'd like to see these and other models in action then please check out our Bat Rep series uh, where we've recorded games between myself and uh, my friend Chaos. Um, please like and subscribe to receive notifications when future content becomes available. If you'd like to chat about any of the models showcased here you can find both myself and Chaos on the Arkham Rejects Discord channel or leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on the mini show.